Hello, Patrick Walchuk here, and uh, what we're going to be doing is uh, taking a multi-unit property. In this case here, it's going to be a four-unit building, and we're going to break down the financials and what those financials mean, as we do every month. And if you enjoy getting these uh, financial videos, uh, click on the subscription button, notification bell, and we'll get them sent out to you at the beginning of every month. So this four-unit was built as a four-unit, and it looked pretty good from, from what I could see in the, in the pictures anyhow and, and the description. So it was listed at $1,449,900. It sold for $1,370,000. The scheduled rental income on the property, call it $89,000. The effective rental income uh, was $86,000. Now the stated operating expenses on it were $16,000. When we add in maintenance and management for the total operating expenses on the building, they were almost $25,000. Now that we know that, of course, we can calculate our uh, return, or sorry, our uh, um, NOI, and that is $61,000. So what does that mean? Well, since we know the sell price and the NOI, uh, that gives us a cap rate of 4.5%. Now the operating expense ratio in this building was very, very good. And again, based on what I could see of it, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, it was about 29 percent and in terms of what it sold for again this is kind of coming in at, at standard numbers of 16 and 22 um, in terms of how much of a down payment the purchaser needed in order for this to break even they would have required a 34 percent down payment and uh, that equated to uh, $466,000 and uh, we used a mortgage rate of 4.5 7% by the way uh, uh, amortized over uh, 25 years and that gave us an annual debt service of $61,000 and that gives us a positive cash flow of $90, or basically you break even a small, small um, amount of cash in your pocket. Now, the interesting thing I just wanna make note of here is the down payments, what we're seeing more is that, you know, this time last year and for the few years before it, you almost always, always had to have a 50% down payment in order for the property to break even. And now we're seeing that come down to, you know, 40, 45, in this case here, 34%. Interesting trend. Thank you for watching.